Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's IazraxD here, and today I'm bringing you my Jaden Yuki Season 1 character deck profile. Now, Jaden Yuki is my personal favourite uh, protagonist and character from the entire Yu Gi Oh franchise. Uh, just simply because I liked his, atti um, his attitude towards dueling. I liked the fact that he, you know, he always faced things head on. He never gave up, apart from, you know, kind of where he fell into depression and became the Supreme King. Uh, but yeah, he's my favourite person from the whole Yu-Gi-Oh franchise. And his deck is a hell of a lot of fun to play with and build. And as I said, this is the Season 1 deck profile build. So you're not going to see his top cards like Yubel and Neos and, you know, all those kind of fusions as well. But yeah, uh, without any further ado, let's get cracking. Now, as he, you know, as he is a protagonist, um, he does use a hell of a lot of cards. So it was really hard to narrow it down to just 40 for your benefit. But I'll show you what I've got and then, um, you know, you can make your judgment. You let me know if it's a good deck profile, if it, you know, needs improving and just basically stuff like that. So, uh, to get cracking with the normal monsters he runs is 1 Elemental Hero Avion, 1000 Attack, 1000 Defense. 1 Elemental Hero Bastinatrix, 1200 Attack and 800 Defense. 1 Elemental Hero Clayman. Uh, that's 800 attack and 2k defense. So that's one of his, you know, defenders and just something to stall a little bit. One elemental hero Sparkman, 1600 attack and 1400 defense. From there we have the effect heroes. So that's one elemental hero Bubbleman. 1200 defense, 800 attack. If it's the only card in your hand, you get to special summon it. And if it's special summoned while you control no other cards on the field or in your hand, you get to draw two. So that's really beneficial. We then have one elemental hero, Wildheart. Uh, 1500 attack and 1600 defense, and it's unaffected by trap cards. One elemental hero, Necroshade. 1600 attack, 1800 defense. It is a level 5. But it does have this wicked ability where once, um, while this card's in the graveyard, you can normal summon one level 5 or higher elemental hero monster from your hand without a tribute. Which paves its way perfectly for elemental hero bladage, 2600 attack and 1800 defense. Uh, during battle between this monster and the defense position monster, um, it inflicts piercing damage. So that's really great. So yeah, that's the eight heroes that I run one copy of, as does Jaden. Next we have the other effect monsters, but you know, they're not heroes. So that's one Dark Catapulter. Oop, just move that down a little bit. One Rottweiler. Uh, when this is destroyed by battle and sent at graveyard, you can add one card that includes Elemental Hero in its name. And one polymerization back from a graveyard to your hand. You then have Wind Karibo, Jaden's little dual spirit guide thingy uh, that he acquired from Yugi Moto before his entrance exam into Dual Academy. And then we have the upgraded form of Wind Karibo, Wind Karibo level 10. Uh, if this card ever, you know, it got out and it is quite easy to get it out, um, its ability is really cool. So yeah, that's all the monsters uh, that I run in this. And obviously there were a few other monsters like Elemental Hero Neo Bubble Man. But I decided not to run that because it's very situational. So um, also with this deck profile and most other deck profiles I do build for you guys. Uh, it doesn't adhere to any ban list. For example, uh, run one part of Greed. And a Monster Reborn. Obviously... These are both banned. And uh, yeah, so fuck the rules. Uh, following that up, we have one monster reincarnation and one emergency provisions. Now going on to the uh, fusion spells. Running three 
polymerization. Now Jaden only ran two in his deck at one time. However, I'm lacking cards like Fusion Gate and Miracle uh, Fusion Sage. Sorry, Fusion Gate, Fusion Sage, and Fusion Recovery. Uh, I don't have any of those free, so I just chucked in a couple of cards here and there to just run it up to 40. And having play tested this a few times, while obviously it's not going to compete with meta, you know, meta decks out there, it is fairly fun to play with, and it's more often than not. It does make some great plays. So there we have two Miracle Fusion. Uh, again, Jaden only ran one. So to substitute for not having, say, Fusion Recovery, just another one of those went in. And lastly, we have the one Diffusion because, um, you know, it's always good to defuse your monsters if you want to make an extra attack per battle phase or just to sort of save your monster and bring out the monsters to make a wall of defense. Then we're running H, um, H Heated Heart, E Emergency Core, R Righteous Justice, and O Oversoul. E and O are pretty much staple in most hero decks, even in today's you know day and age. Uh, but obviously, E Emergency Core is well. It's, it's running most decks. Well, you know, sorry, hero based decks. Uh, following that up, we have the one Hero Flash. And uh, I've just realized that it's starting to get a little bit messy here, so I just took those to one side. The one Skyscraper. Oops, sorry. There we go. Um, if an elemental hero monster is attacking, not being attacked, if it is attacking, and um, it has less attack than the monster that it's attacking. It gains a thousand during you know damage calculation. We then have a spark blaster equipped to spark man, and then during your main phase, you can target one face up monster, change its battle position, and you can use that effect three times before the spell card you know destroys itself. We then have a flute of summoning Karibo to bring out your winged Karibo. And in tangent with that, we have the Transcendent Wings to level it up into Wing Kribo level 10. And the last uh, spell card <coughs> oops, sorry, is Battle Fusion. Uh, it's basically like an Honest for Fusion Monsters. So it's really beneficial in Jaden's hero deck. And yeah, that's all the spells. Uh, with the traps, we have the one hero signal. It's a, you know, it's a good way to special summon a monster when yours destroyed. So you know, it leaves you with something to do with your next turn. The hero barrier, just sort of protect your hero monster or negate one attack while you have a hero monster on the field. Hero ring, uh, negate attack. Mirror force, another mirror force. Now I did mention that obviously about Fusion Sage, Recovery and Fusion Gate. Uh, this was another card I just put in because you can never have too many Mirror Forces. Draining Shield, uh, a bit like Mirror Force, uh, but instead of destroying all their monsters, you just gain life points equal to the monster that attacked you. And finally we run a battle, uh, sorry, a final fusion. Uh, this is a bit situational. But I like the effect, and it was used against Zane in Zane's graduation duel towards the end of season one. Uh, basically, how this works is that if your fusion monster battles your opponent's fusion monster, uh, by activating this card, you add your monster attack and your opponent's monster attack points of those said fusion monsters. So you add them together, and then um, you both take life point damage equal to the combined attack. So, more often than not, it will probably end the duel in a draw. But, like I said, it's it's fun to play with, and it just sort of fit the hero build. And, of course, Jaden did use it. Now, swiftly moving on to the extra deck, we're running one Elemental Hero Electrum. One Elemental Hero Flame Wingman. This is a really cool card. It just sort of sucks, but it doesn't have higher attack points. 
an elemental hero marina 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 however you want to pronounce it i do actually i do apologize uh to the blurriness of the uh, camera i'm in a badly lit room so it does lose focus quite a bit so if you'll just sort of ignore that the one mud ball man the defensive boss of the extra deck one rampart blaster Shining Flare Wingman, the slightly upgraded form of Flame Wingman, using Flame Wingman and Sparkman as fusion materials. Um, I like this card, however I do sort of prefer Shining Phoenix Enforcer as opposed to this, just because I, I reckon the artwork looks a bit cooler. One Steam Healer. One Tempest. One Thunder Giant. Um, actually, in one of the duels, Jaden did run two copies of Thunder Giant. Unfortunately, I only have the one, and as you can tell, it does have a bit of wear around it. I've not been able to acquire another one. But yeah, it's a, it's a good card. 2400 attack, and um, it just requires Sparkman and Clayman. And then finally, we have a Elemental Hero Wild Edge. Uh, this one uses... Elemental Heroes Wild Heart and Blade Edge, and it does have a pretty neat ability. In fact, I'll just read it for you guys. I'm not sure if you can actually see it there, but no, you can't see it there. That sucks. Well, basically, uh, this card cannot be special summoned ex except by Fusion Summon. And oh, Shadow's in the way there. Uh, this card can attack all monsters your opponents control uh, on their side of the field once each. So, yeah, it's a great way to clear the board. And of course with 2600 attack, there's not quite a lot which can stand up to it outside of, you know, ex extra deck material. Uh, yeah, so anyway guys, that's my Jaden Yuki Season 1 deck profile. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. Um, once again, I do apologise for the uh, out of focus footage at points in this video, as well as my, well I'm going to say stuttering, but it's just me basically recording this at around half past 12 in the morning running on just simply one energy drink and to be honest I'm actually surprised I had the willpower to film this at this time but yeah anyway don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button for more content and on a final note if you guys could check out my friends channel Cyber Ending, uh, the link will be put in the description below. Um, he's just started Yugi Tubing, and uh, if you have subscribed to my channel, you'll notice that, well, I think it was yesterday that I uploaded a video for him in which he then uploaded on his channel. Uh, yeah, so check that video out, and obviously, check his channel out. And this is IazraxD signing off.